it's Chrissy. And I haven't been around for a while, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but I started a new job, and it has way different hours, and so I'm kind of getting used to the routine. So, because of that, um, I kind of had to pull back on this. And, you know, this isn't my full-time job, so um, that has to come first. But... I'm doing a quick preview for Sunday's Smash Up with Young Star Girl Carolyn on, I think it's on her channel. I'm not sure. It's on one of our channels. I can't remember. And I happened to come into some jewelry. So this Sunday is mostly going to be a jewelry sale. Now, I can't show you what I have here, but it's ridiculous. The amount of jewelry I have. So I'll be able to provide some really nice pieces at a really good price. I'm going to show you a couple. Now, some of the things may be in Sunday sale, maybe not, but they are available. So if I don't actually show them in Sunday sale and something you're interested in, just send me an email or DM me on Instagram, Chrissy's Corner for Collectors, and tell me what you're interested in. And I'm happy to do some lots with you. If you say, I'm looking for pearls, or I'm looking for this, I'm looking for that, because I have everything. So let me show you a couple things that I came across. First of all, this is from an auction, like an auction estate kind of thing. So uh, there was a lot of glass jewelry. So there's a piece. There's a piece. I like this one. There's a red heart, which is really cool. Look how puffy it is. I really like that one. And there was another glass piece, but I think I put it off to the side. Oh, no, it's I put it in my mystery box that I'll be selling. So I will show you this. My mystery box is all glass. So it'll start at $20. And it's all glass, hand blown glass, cut glass, um, and glass jewelry. And this is one that I just got. These are all real amber. And then this glass little swirl. And that will be in there. And I'm pretty confident this is an older piece. So those beads right there may be silver. I don't see a mark on them. I have looked and looked and looked, but they could be. So this is one of the items in the mystery box. Okay, let's see what else I have. For the cat lovers, I have some other piece. I have another, that's why I do it, the other glass piece. I pulled it out for the sale. So I have stuff already for the sale. So this is just some other stuff. For the cat lovers, look at these two brooches. Look at this one with the mouse. And look at this one with the fish. Clearly these are not vintage. Although, it could be from the 80s, which is almost vintage. They're not marked. Um, casual corner, that's all it says. And they're brand new, but they're cute. So I will be selling these together to any cat enthusiasts. Or I may do these as choice. That's right. Because I'm kind of overwhelmed right now. Also, um, some of the pieces um, broke apart in the... It all came in a big bag. So um, I am repurposing those into little bead bags. For instance, like this. So if you're a bead person or you're a crafter, I will have a whole lot of jewelry making, crafting stuff. I want to show you this one. This one is not, and again, a lot of this is costume. This is costume. But I want to show you how pretty this one is. Look at that. And what's interesting is usually when you put that turquoisey color, they always put silver with it. But look at that, it's gold. Isn't that pretty? I love that. So that may be in there too. And when they tell you that if you tell, if you, the more you buy, the better the price will be for you. Let me show you a watch. Oh, it's not a watch, it's just a bracelet. It's not marked, but it's really well done. Look. It's an owl, and he's got sparklies, rhinestones, but look at this clasp. 
really nice toggle clasp. So I like that a lot. He's probably going to be in the sale. Um, mm, 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 mm. So a lot of bangle bracelets. Um, let me show you this. Now I'm in the Southwest. So whenever I come across beaded items, uh, glass seed beads, I always wonder if they're authentic. Look at this. It's the Phoenix, Phoenix Rising. Isn't that neat? I believe that's hand done. I don't, this might go on eBay, I'm not sure. Because it's really well done. I wish it was signed or something. Anyway, I just thought that one was really neat. So for instance, so this bracelet, <laughs> so this bracelet has a few beads that are broken, but the purple ones aren't. So what I will do is I will tear this bracelet up and all those purple beads will go in a bag for somebody who's interested. Um, hmm, what else? I'm still trying to find the other match to this earring. Look at that. And this says, Rum Soho. No, R-L-M Soho. So this is probably from Soho, New York. So this is probably an artisan piece. It's stamped on the back with Soho Chris. In case you're wondering, it's two o'clock in the morning. That's why I'm kind of quiet. If my husband's asleep. I'm trying to keep the dogs out of my hair. Okay. Um, I got this ring, which I think I'm gonna keep. And I got these stackable rings, which I might keep posted. Um, but if you're interested, give me a call. These are probably size seven because that's the size of my hand. Um, I'm just so excited. It's just like, it's like a birthday party just to go through these boxes of stuff. Um, I mean, there's a lot of costume jewelry. Let me show you this piece. I don't know about this. I mean, you have to really be, you have to have a big personality. Look at that cute little bracelet. That might be silver. I'll have to check that out. So you really have to have a big personality for this. So if you know someone who has a big personality, I don't, I don't know. Look at this. You, it's heavy. You, first of all, you better be a marathon decathlon person to be able to wear this and keep your neck up. But look at it. Look at that. You can jiggle when you walk. Um, I also have this little cat ring. I'm gonna say it's. I'm gonna say it's a six. Look how cute he is. He's got little blue eyes. So I think he's a six. Uh, I haven't even started going through some stuff. I have a set of pearls that I have to check because they're kind of, oh, by the way, cheers. Uh, listen, don't judge me about the ice in the wine. Don't, because if you've ever had a wine spritzer, that's what you do. I like my Chardonnay cold. So don't, don't even put a comment in. Save yourself, save yourself the carpal tunnel of typing the comment. I put ice in my wine. Get over it. Move on. Look at this cute little bracelet. This looks like part shell to me. It's, it's a slingshot. No, it's adjustable. But look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Oh. I also, for Pride Month, I came across these beautiful rainbow seed bead earrings. They're dangles. I'm not going to show those to you now. They will be in Sunday sale because they're over there already. Uh, there's some earrings. But it's hard when you get this loose stuff to find the matches. Um, look at this. This is pretty. This would be really pretty. Well, prom season's over. 
but for a young girl for prom season, hopefully it'll show. But it's got this little, this is all little um, rhinestones, and then goes rhinestones all the way up the necklace. Very pretty. I'm not doing it any justice, I know. But I did want to get this in to tell you that. Um, I may also do a drop sale on Instagram in with lots. So if you're a reseller and you, oh, I do, I am going to sell this. This is a uh, Sarah Coventry brooch. It's a silver strawberry. Isn't it pretty? It's marked Sarah Coventry on the back. So it's about almost two inches. So that'll be for sale. I'm also going to sell this. Um, this is a 24 karat gold plated um, cross from Spain. I believe it's from Spain. Yeah, made in Spain. Look at that. It's gold, 24 karat. If you can't read Spanish, that's what it says, but. Well, how do you speak Spanish? I don't, but 24 karat um, encrusted gold cross. So that might be for sale too. Um, people are always asking me about prayer beads um, and um, rosaries. I didn't find any yet, but I'm, I'm knee deep in it. Um, look at this necklace. all seed beads and it just goes around your neck but that bright bright fuchsia and pink color is ridiculous anyway that's fun um so yeah i have a lot of stuff i have to go through my table is gonna look like this for quite a long long time i'm afraid um there's some christmas jewelry in here um, boxes and boxes of jewelry. There's some watches. This is a vintage guest watch. I don't know if it works. Um, it is marked guest on the back. The only thing that about it, it's really cool, the chain mesh. Um, the front is kind of scratched a little bit, so I don't know. Somebody might be able to do something with it. It has all the rhinestones. And it says guess. And I love that little mesh. Um, so maybe I'll do a, a watch a lot. Um, what else can I show you? Lots of bangles. Real pretty bangles. And it's, these are really big. So like they even fit my extra large wrist. It's really pretty. And this one, this one has seed beads on the side of it. And this is a silver tone. How pretty that is. And again, that's another big one too. So that's kind of what I wanted to tell you that was gonna be in my sale on Sunday. And I might throw in um, a couple other things I have over there. I might even throw in a Christmas ornament or two, a vintage Christmas ornament. But um, a majority of it is gonna be jewelry. I know Young Star Girl, she makes her own jewelry, so I know she always brings some beautiful earrings. I even bought a pair for my cousin and sent them to her. Um, so you know Carolyn has some really nice stuff, and we just have a good time together. So she's somebody who has really come out and helped me in the community, and she, she just, she's never down. She's just never down, and I need to have those kind of people around me. So, how's my job doing? It's a lot, learning a lot. I will tell you that I handle so many COVID specimens. So, if anyone tells you it's gone away, it hasn't gone away yet. Um, so, please still be extra vigilant and careful. Wash your hands, disinfect the doorknobs, disinfect your car steering wheel. Um, just be really careful because there's still a lot out there. And um, I hope you have a really good weekend. 
I'm gonna go put my jammies on. It's now 2.20, 2.20, and I probably won't wind down until about three o'clock, and then it'll finally hit me like a brick wall that you need to go to sleep. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I'm going to be getting stuff ready for the sale, and I'm gonna be doing some baking and cooking for the weekend. Will I, will I video it? I don't know, because I don't even know what I'm making yet. Um, I might do some dehydrating, and I made some beef jerky last week. I was really proud of that, it came out really good. And that's all I have to say to you guys. Get a good night's sleep, have a good time this weekend. Just do something relaxing. And it's okay if you don't dust, it's okay if you don't mop. It'll be there next week, so don't worry about it. I hope you have a super night. Nice